Good evening. A report into a school in North Somerset where a pupil was stabbed has revealed that some children are afraid to go to certain areas of the site because they feel unsafe. A 15-year-old boy was attacked at World Community School in March, prompting complaints from parents. Now following an investigation by the education regulator Ofsted, the school's been branded inadequate and a new leadership team has been brought in to try and turn things around. Andy Howard reports. It's fallen from near the top of the class to rock bottom. Two years ago, World Community School was rated as good by Ofsted and was expected to get even better in the future. But two weeks ago, the inspectors were back, and this time, the report was serious. It says this school is inadequate in every single department. That is the lowest rating a government can give. The headlines are that pupils do not feel safe here. It says safeguarding is ineffective. Legal requirements are not met. Elsewhere, pupils' behaviour is also inadequate, that leaders and teachers are not tackling it hard enough, and that governors are ineffective. They're not holding those in charge here to account. Pupils say they feel parts of the school and playground are no-go areas. In March, a 15-year-old was stabbed on the playing field, leading to him being rushed to hospital and two others arrested and bailed. Pete Crewe is the local councillor and used to be a governor at the school. I find it incredible. Sadly, I suppose, in the end, you can't blame pupils. I mean, pupils are there for, uh, for their education, for us to teach them. You know you're always going to get some problems with some pupils, but you can't blame pupils for a bad school. Who can you blame? Uh, you can only blame the staff that actually run it. North Somerset Council disappointed parents and unions today by not agreeing to an interview. But they did release this statement, which says, We've been supporting and challenging the school for some time and have been receiving regular updates on improvement measures. But regrettably, the rate of progress was not fast enough. Hello, good morning. Welcome to our YouTube. This is our first YouTube um, at World School. Welcome. A new leadership team is now in place, brought in from a nearby outstanding school. They've already posted a video on the internet saying how pleased they are to be here. But with the school now recommended for special measures, parents will be anxious to find out how they intend to turn it around. Andy Howard, BBC Points West in World. Well, let's explore this a little further. Joining us now from our studios in Tunbridge Wells is Chris McGovern, a former Ofsted inspector and head teacher, who's now the chairman of the Campaign for Real Education. Mr McGovern, thank you very much for joining us. What do you make of this report? Well, it's pretty depressing, isn't it? And what's remarkable is that it's come about as the result of an unannounced Ofsted visit. It was because of parental complaints that the, the school was inspected and the truth has been revealed. A bit alarmed that the, uh, the council, the authority, hasn't taken measures earlier. I know they've talked about taking some measures, but in fact not enough clearly. And the fact that they're not talking this evening on this programme is, is fairly shameful. They are the elected representatives. They should come clean on this. The people I'm, people I'm concerned about are, the course, the, the children. The children's future is being blighted at that school. But uh, we hope that things are now going to move in the right direction. Absolutely. Just to dissect that a little bit more, um, obviously in the report there we heard that it's the staff from one person who's to blame. Uh, you're obviously saying that the local authority has to step up to the plate. Where do you think the fault lies or is it literally not that simple? Well, ultimately, the fault has to, has to lie with the authority who oversee the, the school and with the governors and, of course, with the, with the management of the school. They failed. And uh, the old Chinese proverb, the fish rots from the head down. So the leadership is where the failure has come. The leadership at the council, at the governor's level, and probably in the, in the school as well. I wouldn't blame individual staff. They need to be led properly, and then you can achieve great things. So moving forward, obviously, there's new, uh, a new head that's coming in and so on, as we were just hearing at the end of that. That report. Uh, where do you think they should go? What should be their primary targets moving forward? Well, in any school, someone's going to be in charge, and it helps if it's the head teacher, not the playground bully. The first thing they've got to do, I would say, is to establish order in the school. But the, the people who are taking over come from the Priory Community School, which is an outstanding academy. And they're going to work with the, with the council initially to take care of the school, with a view to moving the school towards academy status. The school is now in good hands. The parents and the staff and everybody in the community has to rally around the school. The education of our children in this country 
isn't great, even in the best of schools. This school is failing. We must stick together and we must improve the school. So it's really about rallying around. It's now been placed into good hands. Finally, something has been done. Okay. Mr McGovern, thank you very much for uh, joining us. On some other new questions.